All right, in this video, I will cover an introduction to permutations. Permutations is the number of ways to arrange objects. So I have an example over here. How many ways can we arrange three different colored markers in a line? So what I mean by that is right here, I have my markers arranged red, green, blue. So let me list that down. Red, green, blue. I can also rearrange these so that I have red, blue, green. If I keep going with all the possible arrangements, I can also do blue, green, red, blue, red, green, and green, red, blue, green, blue, red. So there's only six possible ways to arrange this. Now, instead of listing out all the possible arrangements, there is a way to calculate it. Because what if instead of three, you had five different markers? Then your list gets bigger and bigger. So there is a way to calculate this by looking it at it this way. So we have three markers that goes in three different spaces. In my first space, over here, how many choices of the can I pick for my first spot? So I have three markers. That means in my first space, I can pick one of the three of them. There's three to choose from. Now I put one marker here. That means when I move over to my second spot, how many are left for the second spot? I have two markers left to choose from. And then in my last spot, how many do I have left for the last spot? I have one marker left. So what we can do is three times two times one equals six ways. Right? And there's your six up here. So now let's take a look at this next example. How many ways can five people be arranged in a line? So you can do this two ways. We have in the line I have one, two, three, four, five first person here, last person there, so there's five ways or five different spots. So in my first spot I have five people to choose from. My second spot I only have four left. In my third spot I have three. In my second spot I have two left. In my last spot there's only one person left to choose from. So we can do 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 to get 120 different ways. Now, what if instead of 5 people, we give something like, I don't know, 15 people, 20 people, 30 people? Do you want to do 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 times 26 times 25 times 24 times 23? So and so forth until times 2 times 1 and type all that in the calculator. That's too much work. So there is a shortcut to this. Another way to write 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 mathematically, we express that by this symbol. This exclamation point is called factorial. And what factorial means is it's a mathematical operation that tells you to do exactly 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So in your calculator to go find factorial, you press math. So here's the number 5. Now I press math over here. I move over to PRB, which stands for probability. And I pick number 4, that exclamation point. So 5 factorial, hit enter. 5 factorial gets me 120. So if we had 8 different people, we just do 8. Factorial. For eight different people, there's 40,320 ways to arrange them. So this is just an introduction to permutation of how to count, calculate how many different ways you can arrange a set of objects.